The material self is the aspect of one's self that rely on physical materials, enslaving them. But, these materials just don't go to us, we are made aware of them through advertisements on TV, newspapers, magazines, social media, and several more. And in order for us to have these materials, we need to pay for them through the use of money. This explains why people develop attachment with most things we buy. And also why we feel sadness when we lose some of our possessions. People are being more materialistic because of the trend that society sets. People tend to follow the trends. And people spend money and time to get what they want, thus, these people become more material dependent. People consume because of what they want and not what they need, teenagers are the best examples of materialism. These people needs to start and realize that their lifestyle and happiness doesn't depend on what they have. People are likely to purchase products that can relate to their personality. Material possessions signify some aspects of one's sense of self and identity. For example, most millennials have locked up some cell phones and are familiar with different technological innovations because of their inclination to be immersed in the digital, which follows the idea where they are known as digital natives. They use this gadget to communicate, study, and to a certain extent, maintain a particular social status. by necessities for their family because it is symbolic of their need to provide security. The clothes people wear manifest their personal style and comfort. Possessions tell a lot about their owners. Things are bought because of personal association. Thus, one's sense of self and identity is influential on how an individual chooses to purchase his or her wants and how he or she makes economic decisions that will address his or her personal and social needs. The decisions that go into the purchase of items and certain services is dependent on a number of factors including financial constraints, availability of items and services, and the influence of family and friends. However, the most important factor is determining whether these items and services fall under wants or needs. Some people may confuse needs with wants, but there is a clear distinction. Needs are those important for survival. Food, clothing, and shelter are basic needs so people purchase them out of necessity. Wants, however, are synonymous to luxuries. People buy them for reasons that do not warrant necessity. Buying cell phones and other gadgets for communication can be perceived as a necessity, but purchasing units on a high-end line can be a way of projecting a particular social status or taste. People sometimes purchase items to build how they want to be perceived by others. Clothes may be a necessity, but people who have the capacity choose brands and styles to project their identity for other people to see. Regardless of whether the things that people have or needs or wants, material possessions tell something of the personality and social values of those who own them. Possessions are extended versions of oneself. Objects are not just things but are reflections of the wider lives of communities and individuals. The things people possess are also in sync with what is valued by their community. This idea suggests that objects, aside from contributing to how an individual identifies himself or herself, also signify relationships of people with others based on what they possess. <laughs>